Hey guys, welcome back. Today we're looking at the Tin Audio T2 Pro. So previously I've reviewed the Tin Audio T2s. These are the Tin Audio T2 Pros. At a quick glance, you probably wouldn't even know the difference between the two. Almost the same, same great build quality, same great metal housing, really nice cable. There's only really small differences if you're looking at the two. Slightly different color in the housing and the audio jack is slightly different color. You still get that nice packaging, Nice unboxing experience. They come with the same large amount of ear tips, the foam that come on the earbuds, and a huge selection of silicone tips. They only have left and right on their cables. The actual earbuds aren't marked. They're just marked blue and red. They're made like this so that you can either have them over the ear or under the ear. That way you can swap the earbuds over, still have left and right going the right way, and then you'll just remember which one you have as your left or right, the red or the blue, just to make it easy when putting them on. Last time I really liked the style of these, I really liked the build of these. These pros are no different. Other than those two little changes, they're visually the same earbud. Last time when I reviewed the T2 Originals, I said they had a good sound, that they were loud, that they had a flat or neutral sound signature, and that they didn't really have a big bass. It is a neutral, flat sounding earbud. It's not really lacking in bass, it's just that a lot of earbuds add extra bass and I do personally prefer an earbud that adds that extra little bit of bass. It normally makes the sound feel a little bit more full and you get that sort of boom and rumble if you are watching a movie. It makes the sound a little bit more immersive. But this definitely depends on what you're using them for. If you're an artist and you're using it for an instrument or singing, you might not want all that extra bass and you might be looking for more of a neutral or flat sounding earbud. One other thing that I mentioned in my previous review of the originals was that the sound stage wasn't really wide. It did have more of a closed sound to it. So these T2 Pros, again, a good sound, a loud sound, a neutral sound signature. When listening to the Pros, I felt they had a slightly deeper bass, not really that noticeable, just a little bit of a difference. They definitely have a cooler or brighter sound than the originals. It's not overly harsh, but I did find myself turning them down on one or two songs. My ears are quite sensitive to highs. If these were any brighter, I probably wouldn't like them, but they're sort of on the cusp for me. So most songs are really nice. The biggest difference to me when listening to the two is that these new pros seem to have a lot more separation, a slightly wider sound stage, and those two things were quite noticeable when going from one to the other to try to compare them. So I think they're the two biggest differences that you'll find with these. They're slightly cooler, more separation, still lots of detail, and they sound like they have a slightly wider sound stage. I definitely prefer the Pros over the Originals. Again, these aren't huge differences. I was checking out the price of these. The Originals are around 50 US dollars, and at the moment, the Pros are only available on Mastrop. They look like they're about $10 more, but at the moment, they're the same price, $49.90 US. So if you were looking at these, I'll definitely look into getting the Pros. They're the same price. If you already had the originals, I don't know if it would be enough to go for the upgrade. There's only slightly differences. The headphone jack looks slightly different, slightly brighter, a little bit wider sound stage, a little bit more separation. They do sound better to me, but I don't think it'd be worth spending another 50 US to upgrade these from the originals. If you are looking for a neutral sounding, more flat sounding earbud, definitely recommend these. 
great build quality, great detail, really nice set of earbuds. But if you do prefer more of a bassy sound, more of a colorful sound earbud, then I definitely look into something else. Great packaging, great cable, great build quality, really nice styling, wide range of ear tips. And for 50 US, you are getting a lot for your money. So I do recommend them if that's what you're looking for. If you have any questions, make sure you comment down below. Make sure you like and subscribe to this channel and I'll see you in the next one.